All right, so in this lesson, we're going to be finding the angles of complex triangles. All right, first example. We have two triangles joined th together, and we're looking for this missing angle here, which is with my question mark. So my goal is to get from one triangle to the next triangle. What should I do first? You add 50 and 30, and there's some you subtract by 80. Okay. By one eight. Excellent. So we're looking for this angle here so I could cross over to the next triangle, right? So good. So inside my triangle here, I have 50 and 30. So this angle here must be 100. Why? Because 50 plus 30 plus 100 equals 180. Perfect. So once I know this, then give me something else I know about this triangle. So we know that the other triangle, the angle is 100. Okay, so this is, this is also 100 because of what? What kind of angle is it? vertical. So this is also 100. Now I have another triangle. I have 100 here, 53, and now my missing angle. What's the missing angle here? You add 153 and then you subtract. You do 180 minus 153. Okay, perfect. Add those two angles, then subtract from 180, and what do you get? Um, 27. 27? So our missing angle here is 27 degrees. All right, next example. Again, we're trying to find this missing angle here with the question mark. So again, I'm going to try to use, I'm going to use this first triangle here to help me get to that other triangle here. Something I want to point out, something you want to notice here, is the fact that we have a right angle. So we're going to use that somehow to figure out what the rest of the missing triangle is. So how do I, let's get here first. Let's find this angle here first. How do I find this one? First, you have to make the bottom triangle all the angles equal 180. Perfect. So I want 37 plus 93 <coughs> plus what is nine is 180 degrees. Okay, so what do I do first? Um, you add 37 and 93. Okay, so I'm going to take 37, 93, and 37, and I get 0, and I get 130 degrees. So therefore, this angle here is 50 degrees. 50 degrees. Perfect. How do I find my next triangle, or my next angle? You just subtract 50. Okay, so I know both these angles here are 90 degrees, so if this one's 50, then this one has to be 40. 40. Now I'm in my second triangle. I have two of the angles of the three angles in my second triangle. What's my third angle? How do I find it? You have to add 70 and 40 and subtract that by 180. Good, I'm going to add 70 and 40 and I get 110. And then subtract 180 from this, and I get an angle of 70 degrees. So now we have two more triangles here. So a couple rules we need. So the last one we used, we needed the 90 degree angle. We need to know a supplement, uh, complementary is 90 degree. This one, you really want to take a look at this angle, this line here. Okay, it's a straight line. And what do we know about straight lines? How many degrees are in a straight line? How many degrees are in a straight line? 180. Yeah, so this is 180 degrees here. So if I take an angle, and I just, if I apply an angle in between these, then I'm splitting this 180 degrees into two different angles. All right? But the sum of these two angles will still be 180 degrees. So let's see how that applies in this triangle. So again, first triangle here, I'm looking at 1, 2, and 3. So I'm looking at this triangle here, highlighted triangle. Can I find this missing angle here? Can I find the missing angle here? Okay, so we got the right angle is 90 degrees. Perfect. So we have 90, 20. And you add 90 and 20 to get um, 110. Okay, 90 and 20 is 110. And what's my missing angle? 70. Perfect. So 110, so I'm missing my 70 degree angle. So this is 70 degrees. All right, so we got our 70 degree angle. Okay, so this is where you want to realize that you want to look at this bottom line here. Okay, it's a straight angle. So all together, these three angles here, these three angles, one, two, and three together equal how many degrees? 180 degrees. So if I know this one's 70, this one is 60. What's 70 and 60 together? 70 and 60 is 130. What's that missing angle here then? That's 130. Yep, it'll be 50 degrees. So 70, 60 is 130. So this angle here has to be 50. 
Now in my third triangle, I have, again, two of the angles. I have the 50, I have a 95, and then my missing angle. How do I find this third missing angle? Good. So I'm going to add 95 and 50. I get 145. And then 180 minus 45. I get an angle of 35 degrees is my missing angle. All right. So we're going to the next example. Here we have, here we're looking for the exterior angle of the triangle. All right. So I'm going to go, and how do I, what's my first step to finding this one? Okay, so I'm looking for this angle here, and I'm going to get this angle. How? Uh, well, it's a 180 Beautiful. This is a straight angle again. It's just 180 degrees between this angle and that one. So I'm going to do... Beautiful. 180 minus 115, and I get... Beautiful. 65 degrees. So this angle here is 65 degrees. Now I could go inside my triangle. So here's my triangle. I have two of the angles in the triangle. How do I get my, get my third angle? Good. If I add these two, what do I get? 140. So 140 degrees. And what's my third angle here? 40. Excellent. How do I get over to the next triangle here? What's my next step? Beautiful. I got vertical angles here. So if this is 40, then. Excellent. So now I have my. Second triangle here, and again I have two of the three angles. 52 and 40 is 92 90. degrees. So what's my third angle here? 88 degrees. Beautiful. So this is 88 degrees, almost there. Now I want the exterior angle here of this 80 degrees. How do I find this one? Beautiful. I'm going to take 180 because this is a straight angle. Subtract 88, and what do I get? 92 degrees. Perfect. All right, so a little bit more complicated on this one. We're looking for this missing angle here. Again, let's start from what we know. What's the, what could be the first step that we have here? Yep. You could use a vertical angle, 64. Yeah, perfect. I'm going to use the fact that I have a vertical angle here, 60, 64, and here is going to be 64 degrees. What's my second step? You have to find the third measure in that triangle. Perfect. Let's use this triangle here that I highlight. And let's find the third angle measurement here, which is right here. And what's that third angle measurement? I have 64 and 20, which is 84. 96 degrees would be this missing angle here. Awesome. Now what? Uh, you take 96, add it to 44 to get 140. Okay. And then subtract 180 by 140 because that's a straight angle. Beautiful. So I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking at this straight line here. And I know these angles here, 1, 2, 3, must equal 180 degrees. So I have 96 and 44. That's equal to how many? 140. 140 degrees. So this angle here must be 40 degrees. So I got one angle inside my triangle. How do I get the other angles in my inside? Um, the last, well, one of them is vertical with the 30 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to use this 30 degrees, and this is vertical, and this becomes... Know it's 30 and now how do I find the last one here? Um, 40 plus 30. Beautiful. 40 and 30 is... 70. And what am I... And minus 180 is 110. Excellent. So there's my 110 degrees. So this one is 110 degrees. I'm not done yet. I still want this angle here. How do I get this final angle? Um, you subtract it from 180, and it's 70. Beautiful. This is, again, this is a straight line. So this angle here must be 70, because these two angles together must give me 180 degrees since they are supplementary.